I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's analysis of the news. We're looking at the economy again today. We have the opportunity of having Larry Bates with us here in our studio. And he has uh, three DVDs called Economic and Political Crisis, Strategies for Weathering Any Crisis While Keeping Your Finances and Political Freedoms Intact. And uh, he also has a book here called The New Economic Disorder. Larry Bates, thanks for coming to be with us. Good to be with you. We appreciate it. And Gary, uh, these are ominous days. Uh, J.R., they are days in, in which there is palpable fear. And I'd like to ask Larry Bates a question here concerning the bailouts. Uh, we're bailing out uh, automobile companies, uh, financial institutions, banks. Uh, Larry, if we continue bailing and bailing, What's going to be the result? Well, the, the result is going to be a mountain of debt and a massive amount of money in circulation that will cause massive hyperinflation. Hmm. Now, uh, that, that's the bottom line. Uh, it's, it's the economic equivalent of crack cocaine. You get a high for a little period of time, and I think maybe two to five years. We better have our house in order in minimum of two years, and we may have five years uh, based on how much... Uh, traction all this new cash uh, gets into the economy. Have but other countries tried this in the past uh, when sure. they hit uh, deep waters? Well, you know, it's been said what we learn from history is that we don't learn from history. Mm -hmm. And the Japanese, uh, ever since their real estate bust, uh, they have tried, uh, they've lowered interest rates to zero percent. Uh, they've increased the money supply 30 percent a year for 12 years without reviving their economy. Hmm. And I think we're going to find the same thing because you have not dealt with the structural problems in the economy. It's debt-based money, debt-based economy. And uh, everybody always has to get on the banker's treadmill to uh, work out to, because the banker has a monopoly on the creation of money. The Federal Reserve is the engine of inflation, and the commercial banks are the transmissions attached to that engine. And uh, this is what we're facing today. It is a currency crisis. It's a credit crisis. And uh, you have a lot of money that's just simply not getting into the people who uh, uh, would be spending it. Wow. Yeah. In his book, by the way, he has uh, a chart on what is ownership and what is loanership. I like that. Uh, do you own loan or do you own own? <laughs> that's the thing. Loanership means Federal Reserve notes, uh, mutual funds. Uh, CDs, T-bills, annuities, bonds, notes of various kinds. But ownership is gold, silver. And then those things below that are not as important, such as platinum coins, stocks, coins meaning uh, collectible coins. coins, rare coins. And uh, real estate and collectibles, all these things are ownership. And uh, uh, some of them are vulnerable, such as uh, real estate. The value of real estate might go down. Uh, the uh, t idea of being able to tax you with an ad valorem tax. You can lose your real estate to the government. But if you have gold or silver, that's real money. And that's our suggestion to you uh, today. Uh, yes, of course, use Federal Reserve notes. A certain percent, I don't, I don't know how much, but if you have money to invest, you just really need to pull it out of the stock market and get gold and silver and gold in particular, but not bullion, get coins because they're exempt from government confiscation. Do you remember back in the early 30s, the government confiscated uh, gold for what, $22 an ounce? That's right. And then turn around and set the value at 35 after yep. the government had it all? Absolutely. <laughs> amazing. It is yeah. amazing. It's amazing. the greatest heist uh, from the American people ever recorded in history. Wow. A a but I you know, they're not condemned for that. No, <laughs> you know, not. everybody says, well, old FDR, bless his heart, he was, <laughs> he saved the day. Well, he's the father of socialism in this country, and he is, uh, quite frankly, Barack Obama is using his plan as a blueprint, but enlarging upon that right today. Yes. Folks, uh, listen to Larry Bates. He's an expert. As a matter of fact, uh, he served the Tennessee House of Representatives. He's chairman on the Committee of uh, Banking and Commerce. He has been a banker. He has uh, talked with experts the world over. And if you want to educate yourself, read his book. Yeah, you can get it right off of our website here. I hope you will. That and the DVDs. Both of these are available from the website or you can call our office at 1-800-475-1111. The book is $14.95 plus shipping and handling and the DVDs are $29.95 plus shipping and handling. Get them. It will help you. 
to be able to save your assets during these economic hard times. I'm J.R. Church. See you again tomorrow with our analysis of the news.